Hello everybody, my name is Coldwell and today I will be going through my top 3 tips on how to survive this quarantine. So let's go! Number 1. To wash your hands. There's nothing worse than to have dirty hands. There is a way to do it. So you do the palms between your fingers, side in between your fingers, then repeat on the other hand, then your thumb and the other thumb. Yeah! Simple, right? There is a way to do it. Um, the government here says for us to sing happy birthday uh, twice and wash our hands, but I don't do that. I just say the Lord's Prayer because it's a great way to worship the Lord in the morning and to glorify His name. Anyway, moving on. Number two. Please listen to the government and self-isolate. It would really help our nurses and doctors to do their work because if we don't self-isolate, we'll probably end up having the COVID-19 and we'll probably be one of the millions and millions of people who are admitted in hospital. There's only few nurses and doctors who can actually look after us. So please listen to the government and self-isolate. And when you self-isolate, please do check up on your friends and family. It doesn't necessarily have to be you going to their house, but to do it through Facebook, Instagram, or even FaceTime. Check upon them, give them your support and love, and show them that we're all in this together as a family. Finally, number three, to receive the daily bread every day. What does that mean? It means for us to tune to the words of the Bible and the Lord every day. I want to share a verse with you that's been close to my heart in this season, and it says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear and timidity, but of power, love, and self-discipline. Wow, everyone, this season's going to be hard. But even says in the Bible that God does not give us the spirit of fear, but he gives us a spirit of power, love, and self-discipline. That itself should be an encouragement for all of us. We should remember that when God came down as Jesus, he went through so much. He went through everything that we went through our emotions, our challenges in life. For God overcame the world. So take heart, everybody, and praise him and glorify him because he's the only way that we can have peace. God loves us so much that he gave his only beloved son. So let's take heart, everybody. Let's worship the Lord and give him all the glory that he deserves. And I also want to encourage you to do your best to help people who are on the streets, who are not as lucky as we are to be in their house and to have food. Let's help our brothers and sisters who are on the streets, who are being rejected by society. Let's help them and let them know that they are loved, that they're not a rejection, but they are a child of God. I really hope this was very encouraging for you. Let's all um, come together as one in Christ and just be in the spirit of God and worship his name. I hope you all have a good day. I hope you're all blessed. Um, thank you so much. Have a great day, everybody.